Hi, I'm Brad Washburn, and welcome back to part two of creating the bouncing ball. If you didn't join us last time, then I recommend going back and watching part one of this so that you know how to create the ball and guide path. Now today, I'm going to show you how to make this ball look just a little bit less mechanical, a little bit more realistic. And the way we do that is by adding ease in and ease out. Now, the reason we want to do this, in real life, when you bounce a ball, as it accelerates towards the ground, then it starts to speed up, and as it moves up towards the apex in the air, then it starts to slow down. And so you get, it speeds up a little bit, then it slows down a little bit, then it speeds up and slows down. And we want to simulate this in flash. So, first thing, let's go up to our timeline and click on the layer one, which has the ball in it. Now there's two things in the timeline that we can do to move through this timeline that'll be really helpful. The first key is the period key, and that moves us one frame at a time forward in the animation. And the second key is the comma key, and that moves us one frame at a time backwards in the animation. So what we want to do is go as close as we can to the point where the ball touches the ground here. And we want to insert a keyframe so we can go insert timeline keyframe, or we can right click on it and insert a keyframe, or we can just use the shortcut key, which is F6. And then let's move to the apex where it is the highest point. And if these aren't exactly on, then it's not a big deal for this animation at least. We just want to insert keyframes at all of these points as close as we can. Okay, just one more. Okay, and once we've got that done, now let's go back to the first keyframe that we inserted. Now we want to add the ease in and the ease out. Now let me explain a little bit about easing. Easing makes the ball either move faster as it approaches the next keyframe or move slower as it approaches the next keyframe. So if we want to add an ease out, or a positive ease, that makes it go fast to slow, and a negative ease makes it go slow to fast. And we do that by going over here to our Properties panel. If the Properties panel isn't open, then you can go up to Window Properties, or Command F3 on the Mac, or Control F3 on Windows. Ours is already open, so you just go to Ease right here, and we can either drag it to set the property, or we can type it in. And I'll just type these ones in. Now this first one, we want to go, we want to do a positive ease and ease out because we want it to be moving fast and slow down as it reaches this keyframe. So we'll do about a 70. We don't want to do 100 because we don't want it to come close to a complete stop. So we'll just do a 70. So then the next one, we'll do a negative 70 because we want it to be slow as it starts out and speed up as it comes to the bottom here. So we'll just do that for all of these keyframes. Do 70, negative 70, 70, negative 70, 70, and then negative 70. And we don't need to do it for the beginning keyframe up here or the ending keyframe back here, just the in-between ones. So let's hit Command Enter or Control Enter on Windows and watch that. And you can see it speeds up and as it gets towards the ground and then slows down as it gets higher. So it looks a little bit more natural. Now there's one other thing that we want to do to make this just a little bit more natural. And we're going to add a little bit of, of squash onto this ball. We're going to squash it just a little bit, um, just kind of to demonstrate the material of the ball. For example, this is a rubber ball, so it's going to be just a little bit squishy. If we had a bowling ball, it wouldn't squish at all. So we want to add just a little bit of squishiness on this as it hits the ground, just to show that the material that it's made out of. So we'll go to each keyframe where it's at the ground, and we'll squish it just a little. And the tool I'm using here is called the Free Transform tool. 
You can get that by pressing Q on the keyboard or just by clicking right here. Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's hit Command Enter again. And you can see that looks a little more real or maybe a little cartoony, but it, it kind of demonstrates the material that the ball is made out of. So there you go. That's how you make a bouncing ball and how you make it look just a little more realistic. Thank you for joining us today and join in next time.